Hello and uh, welcome to our next session here at stage six. And um, I'm here to present um, to present uh, Jonathan Henning and Jonathan Immel. And um, Jonathan is from um, the Global Economic Symposium. And the other Jonathan is from uh, Ignore Gravity. And um, you know what they're going to do this time? They're helping us, no, no, you are helping us to solve all the problems of the world. So I'm really, all the, all the big problems, big problems. Okay, so go on. Thank you very much. What a nice day in Kuala Lumpur today. Gosh, yeah, it is. It is. Um, hi, I'm, I'm Jonathan. Oh, hi. Jonathan, too. Hi. Funny. Huh, huh. Huh, huh. It's, pretty, it's pretty cool being here at this, uh, at this uh, Global Economic Symposium in, in Kuala Lumpur. This is a nice session, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Great uh, keynote speech. Mm, yeah. Tackled the right problems. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, so, what do you do? Oh, so I'm, I'm a billionaire. Actually, oh yeah, yeah, and and yourself? Um, I'm a social media consultant from Berlin. Uh, project, I do projects. Projects, okay. Yeah. Like what? What kind of what kind of projects? Um, creative projects. Um, it's like stuff on the internet. I build apps. That, anything like any, anything for the I good might stuff. have heard of or? Um, no, we're still in in, in a close better. I'm sorry. So we're not public yet, but I can let you know when we've launched or something. Oh, is that is that on Facebook? No, it's not. A fa it's going to be everywhere. Yeah. Okay. But let's not talk about business. Um, okay. Yeah. What do you do for fun? Um, so I'm uh, I uh, I go skiing after this. I'm going to be in Manila. I've, I've got a business thing, and then um, we're going to go sailing down down the coast, and it should be a lot of a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, and you? Um, Berlin. I go to um, exhibitions, conferences. Republica is a conference I pretty much go to every year. Is that like Republican or is that? Yeah, it's Republica. Ah, Republica. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, hmm. Do Do you have animals? Uh, yeah, I've got a dog. Yeah, yeah. A dog. Yeah. I've basically. I got cats, but I just see them like online, like constantly on Facebook. Okay, so this is a really, really boring conversation that could happen, very well happen, if someone who, just like yourselves, goes to a conference like this, were to come to Kuala Lumpur and go to, global, to the Global Economic Symposium. Um, I'm not saying that you would, you might have a really interesting conversation, but there might also be a missed opportunity. I work for a conference which brings together um, what we call thought leaders from the academic field, from, um, from NGOs, and also a lot of things called family offices. Um, in case you just don't know, and for those of you who do, I'm sorry for you know, telling you something you already know, a family office is a small private bank which normally has about a billion dollars in assets. Um, and one of the insights that I've had since starting to work at the Global Economic Symposium a few months ago is that these family offices actually really want to invest in businesses that they believe in. And this might sound like a cliche, you know, we want to change the world with our money and we want to do something that gives back to the community. Um, and make no, no mistake, I mean, it's about the bottom line at the end of the day. But they're tired of investing in the stock market because they don't trust it anymore. And they haven't trusted it for a while. But they don't really see an alternative. Um, so. What we're trying to do at this year's Global Economic Symposium, which has been running since 2008, um, was founded in Kiel by the uh, Institute for the World Economy, um, is we're trying to bring these two groups together and we're trying to create dialogue. I'm basically you, in case you haven't noticed, due to my great acting. <laughs> and, and, I'm, and I'm definitely not a billionaire, but I'm playing one in this, in this instant. So what we're here to do today is instead of trying to understand how we can create a proper dialogue between, let's say, young entrepreneurs, um, people in the tech sphere, and you know these billionaires or family offices or private banks or investment firms who actually have the capital 
to make your businesses run and to make you know real change in the world, whatever that is, even if that's even if that's affecting 500 people in some village you've never heard of. Um, we want to figure out what that dialogue is going to be, or at least how we're going to structure it so that it's a real, proper dialogue. Um, and today, we're actually going to ask for your help in doing that. As who are we to know the solution, right? Exactly. There is everyone who is not at Sasha Lobo is basically here. So a lot of smart brains, and uh, we want to leverage you guys. Exactly. Um, so. And what we thought we'd do is we're going to have this super interactive workshop and then we discovered, oh, we are in a place with headphones where we can actually hear each other. It's pretty dark. You probably can't even see each other. So, um, so we thought we'd really embrace the theme of this year's, this year's Republica and go into the wild with this workshop. So, The first thing that we're going to start to do now, and I know you're going to hate it because it involves now no more lean back, going to be some interactive stuff that you hopefully, you probably hope that wouldn't happen, but it's going to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to form some groups. How many people are we? I would guess it's... Uh, 4,000. It's 4,000 people in the other room, and it's about 30, but we got the right people. Whoever's in this room is the right people to solve the global challenges, right? Exactly. Okay. Or to create the framework for it, which is really what we're here to do. So, um, so And I'm just going to add one, one more thing. Yeah. Sorry, Jonathan is that this is actually going to happen. I mean, this, this conference is taking place September 6th to 8th, and there will be a space for young entrepreneurs to meet billionaires and to meet other people with the investment potential of upwards of $2 trillion. So this is, this is actually an initiative where we're not just inviting, not that there's anything wrong with the young global leaders or the global shapers, but we're not just inviting people who are, sorry, <laughs> who, are part of, who are part of that organization, but it's really being opened up to the public, and we're trying to do this more and more every year. Um, so, so please keep this in mind while this is happening, that, that this is going to happen and this is something that you really can participate in. And uh, before we're going to like dive into the challenge, um, the great thing at conferences, I don't know, does Republica qualify as a conference? It's an, it's an unconference, it's a community gathering, right? It's not only a conference. Um, but the great thing about those conferences is that you find like-minded people who you share something in common with. So we want to give you this opportunity to actually find some like-minded people around one commonality, okay? And for that, I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. And, um, and you're just going to raise your hand, and then I'm going to coordinate getting you in groups, and you're going to keep your headphones on, and we'll explain what happens next. It's as easy as that. Bear That's with it. us. All right. Um, okay, so who of you is going to be in a, consciously on a digital detox, as in switching off your phone, switching off all your devices consciously for at least three days in a row. Who's done it in the past two years? All right. All right. There we go. One, two, two three, three, four. four. All right. Let's come your over group. here. group. All right. Over here. The next group. That's going to be a tough one. Who doesn't have a smartphone in this group? One, two... One, two, three. three. All right. Let's go over this corner right up here. Okay. Who of you didn't pay to get in at Republica? Who's like a, who's a, a cheap ass who, who got a free ticket here? Wow. All that's right. That's a big group. Right. That's, a big, that's a big group. All right. You pick one. Let's, uh, let's do right here in the middle. Um, one, two, three, four. You people know each other. Do you know each other? Yeah, okay, so you're not together. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Right here in, this, in the side. Okay, next group. Um, if someone asks you, so what do you do? Who would say, um, I, I, I work on projects, I'm kind of like freelancing. All right. <laughs> if you're already part of a group, thank you very much, but... <laughs> but Those people who just raised their hands. It's not a group. It's, too, it's, it's not just enough two. people. It's just two. Yeah. Okay, so keep your hands raised. Do you all have jobs? This is exercise. Okay, who has never tasted a Club Mate before? All right, so we have three, four, That's five, a group. Wow, five. that's a group. All right, so let's, let's, put, let's put everyone over here. Um, okay, who of you remaining people, who still wants to change the world? Come on. Really? That's so good. 
Okay, pick some. Okay, let's go. Let's go. One, the young lady, the gentleman, the gentleman, and the lady. Not you, sir. The lady back there. Okay, who's ever actually completed, not taken part, but who's actually ever completed in an online education course? A MOOC. A MOOC. Who's what they call it. it. All right, that's one, two, three. All right, why don't you come up here, right in front of the podium? Jonathan, I'm running out of questions. <laughs> um, who's already met a person here at Republica who you've previously seen on Tinder? <laughs> don't be shy. Okay, it's everyone, but it's okay. We'll, we'll not publicly disclose that. Um, who's still part of, let's say, one of the big churches, a Protestant or Catholic church? All right, all right. So let's take the two of you up here, and then we're going to add... Can we put, yeah, we're going we're gonna, to uh, mingle you with a different group. Who's ever danced to ABBA? ABBA, that to ABBA. famous Swedish band that... Come on, be honest. Okay, they, the ABBA people are going to join the church These people. Two. All right, so you're gonna, ABBA and the church people, you're going to join together. That's a that's match made in heaven. That is. <laughs> okay, now we have how many? All right, who do we have people? left? Do we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really? No, seven. Be a team player. No, Just it's kidding. it's seven people. Okay, and your seven challenge people. is going to be, you will have to figure out what the hell on earth you have in common if you don't have anything of the other stuff in common. So okay, so you are a group. All right, so the groups who are together right now, why don't you bunch together so we can see so we can see that it's not just a straight line. Remember, remember here in the groups, with let's huddle. It's like football. I know you don't here, watch that in this continent. Okay, Le the leftovers are going to gather here. Yeah, and the leftovers are going to be right here. Okay. Wonderful. All right, so while they're getting up here, we'll explain what your task actually involves, which I'm sure you're chomping at the bit to know. Okay, now it's 17.45 in German, 17.45. Um, it's a quarter to six. What we are now going to do is, since I know it's a great sacrifice that you're not with Sascha Lobo, basically explaining the world. So what we, what we allow you to do is, we're going to do, um, is it race? No. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do a Chinese brainstorming. That means um, we're gonna go out there, and you're gonna get the inspiration and the solutions for the for the challenge that we're gonna outline again. And you can you can go bother from outside. Exactly. So you can go bother people in line for coffee. You can go and listen in on other sessions. You can go outside and talk to people eating sausages. And you can ask them if you were in a room with a billionaire, what would you want to talk about, and how would you want that day to be structured? You know, and, and then you gather that information, eavesdrop on people. Just go and stand right next to them and don't talk to them, but just put your hair, like your head right this, this close. I just said hair. Look close. for the richest people here at Republica and shadow them and like get a glimpse on what is it that they care about. And because yet again, the challenge is if 50 billionaires and 50 people like us, like 50 Republicans, if we have one day together in Kuala Lumpur, what would be the smartest thing on earth that we could be doing within those 24 hours? We only have this one day, the one big chance, but we have no clue what we should actually do there. And this is going to, what you will figure out in the next, let's say in the next uh, 25. Yes, 20. Okay, we're going to meet here at 6.06. .06. That's 18.06. Yeah, so this 606. is roughly... This is roughly 17 minutes. This is, this is 19 minutes, according to my watch. Okay. Anyway, we're going to meet here at 6.06. .06. You're going to have about five minutes to, to have an intense discussion with each other and talk about what you, what you gathered as a group and what you're going to talk about. And then one person is going to present in one minute what your solution for that day would be. All right? And, this is the challenge. And it is okay if you drop out of the group and just, like, you know, sneak out and... Whatever, but do the means, rest. But it means that you really don't care about solving hunger and education and healthcare. So please stay in the group. And it's a great opportunity to meet people. And we um, please keep your headphones on because that way we can be inside of your head. Um, please come back at 6.06. Okay. And, and if you leave your group, this is still an option. Just like be so polite and tell the other people, hi, 
I don't really give a shit about the global challenges, so I'm going to depart the group and you're on your own. That's perfectly fine, but just communicate to each other, okay? All right. Awesome. So. Go, my lovelies. At 18.06, 6.06, we're going to meet back here, and you are full of inspiration of what to do with the billionaires and with the Republicans. See you in a bit. All right. All right, all right. God. <laughs> it was a good, it was a good thing. It might happen. how to solve global economic problems and there are many billionaires how would you um, pitch an idea to them in what context and is that what you I'd probably well see I'm working on this thing about trying to engage creative networks worldwide so I would take them to a creative network and have them sit at a desk and work with us for a day I mean maybe it's not the best idea in the world okay but, but that's what you want us yeah. to uh, and then ask 30 people and then put it all together and pick whatever the best I think my answer would be it depends on the, on the solution that you want to pitch. Sure, definitely. But it's but there could be you know the question is do you meet them on their terms or on your terms? You know, there's always the issue of you know are they going to be comfortable at Berkheim or are they going to be comfortable at the golf course or you know should you? Will you adjust uh, to them or will you push them to adjust to you? Exactly, exactly. Or you know should it, should the conversation be with a lot of people or should it be a lot of one on one sessions? Or, how does how does it work? How would you, if you were an event organizer, how would you structure today? Okay. okay. And this event is actually. Are you guys uh, planning this event? I'm going to have a few questions for the event. Great. That's great. Go explore. Yes, yes, yes. yes. No. Okay. Thank you. 
Yes. Hi, Jonathan. It's 6.07 already. 6.07. Those non-Germans. 6.07. All right, for those of you who have their headphones on already. All right. For those of you who have their headphones on already, um, talk with your group if you haven't already done this. 
Um, take all the ideas that you found out in the wild. Try and find the commonalities, the thematic similarities, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and try and come up with something that the billionaires and the Republicans, not those Republicans, but these Republicans, can do for a day, for 24 hours. We're going to repeat this in a second as more people get their headphones yes. on. Jonathan, why don't, we, why don't you repeat it? <laughs> headphones on. Okay. Headphones on. All right, everyone, take a seat with your group. Please come close to the front. We're all friends here now. You've shared your dirty secrets. That means we are one big family here. One big family. Who sang that? We are family. We are family. All my brothers, sisters, and me. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be uh, after. <laughs> Jonathan is, uh, is officially a dancer. Like, he made this whole thing up with the Kiel Symposium. Really you, you can see him on stage not one true. at 707. Doing the Abbott Church dance. I told you I shouldn't have worn the bow tie. Okay. All right, let's come back to the big right. challenges in this world. All right, so headphones on. So, uh, if you haven't already done so, has everyone spoken amongst yourselves and come up with something to present in one minute? Yes? No? No? Give us hands. Right. Who's, who's ready, who's to, ready to, present right to pitch now? an idea of what billionaires do with Republicans? Okay. I'm not getting a lot of enthusiastic hands. So, take three minutes. Three minutes. Take yes. three minutes to speak amongst yourselves vigorously and come up with one way that you're going to present in one minute. And this is not a fictional thing. Those people are going to get together on September 6th and we want you to be a part of the further process. So you figure out in the next three minutes what's your proposal if those 50 billionaires and those 50 of us meet and then we're going to ask one person in each group to briefly pitch the idea um, somehow like here on stage, mm -hmm. but we'll figure that out. So, okay. yeah, exactly. Three minutes. So, and go. <laughs> yes, talk to each other. <laughs> if any of you are unclear of the task, um, please raise your hand and I can come and talk to you. But, yeah, okay. Hey. Sorry? We just missed the person. Oh, just right now. Okay. So essentially, you just want to take a few minutes and combine everything that you found out in the wild. You know, what was it? What was it that you discovered? Um, well, they have everything. Give them something they normally don't have. Were there any have. ideas that jumped out? Was there anything that really stuck out? And then, um, what did you say? And if there's a thematic similarity there, then that's what you present. So it could be that it could be that you have to you have to meet people on their own turf. You know what I mean? Or it could be um, it could be that there uh, that there needs to be a lot of balloons. Or it could be no. <laughs> so it it's whatever you think is the best way for these two types of people to meet for 24 hours. Right. So try and distill them down into 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 one.
One minute. One minute. going to start. Headphones on. <laughs> Time is up. We look like here we're in this silent disco, I know, except exactly. no one is dancing. <laughs> it's kind of sad. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Right. So Jonathan is going to go around with a microphone and come up to the group and please identify yourself, what the group's thematic element was, what you had in common, and then your solution for the 24 hours. Okay. All right. What was your commonality? What do you have in common? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the cheap, the cheap asses who, s who sneak their way into Republica for free. They, by the way, they're sitting here. You can talk to them afterwards. Okay. So, what's your pitch? What should the billionaires do with the Republicans if they have one day in Kuala Lumpur? You're going to pitch. Okay. So, basically, what we find, found out is... Yeah, sorry. Okay, we lost the rest of the group, but uh, we're five people over here, and what we've actually gathered is the fact that uh, you need to make it uh, appear that there are humans interacting. It's it's a complete human interaction. So there's uh, you don't see the social stratification between a billionaire and an entrepreneur. So you put them, uh, bring them together, and uh, the first thing that they need to do is probably involve in some sort of storytelling. So it could be about their aspirations, maybe how they made their wealth, or about their deepest fears, or some sort of happy moments, and then curate it for the rest of the group. That allows people to uh, sort of pick up personal uh, liking, or you know, some sort of personal orientation with the person. And then the second thing we found out is that a lot of entrepreneurs are scared of the fact that their projects could be hijacked by potential investors. So what do you, uh, how you overcome that problem is basically try to involve people in co-creation co of the project. So it could be on thematic lines like business, health, education, whatever they have the expertise in. And then uh, the entrepreneurs would of course come up with their own pitch and which could be put up uh, on the website from before. People could uh, brainstorm on it. But once you put them in the room, they need to actually develop the instruments or the means of operation for that project. What are the delivery, uh, uh, what are the deliverables, what's the timeline? How would the billionaire, so we, we cut off that label as billionaire. He's also a co-creator now. And they take, uh, uh, they take uh, joint responsibility, mutual ownership of the risks as well as the opportunities. That's what we found, thank you. Thanks. You've deserved your free ticket at Republica. Um, we're moving to the next group. Could I still guess what you guys have in common? No. Okay, you're going to tell me. Uh, we all have smartphones, that was one thing. And uh, we don't dance to ABBA, we just stand in the corner and uh, do the head shaking part. Okay, great. And. What are those billionaires slash co-creators and the Republicans are going to do? Who... Okay, it's you. Uh, well, our idea is not that far developed, I think, but... Uh, <laughs> um, we actually, we thought about speed dating. Um, speed dating as the format, uh, how they could meet. But uh, now, um, as you said, there are 50 of each group. So um, you might want to build smaller groups of, of each part that have common interests and, and just speed date in a, in a smaller group. Um, but yes, speed dating was the format that we thought about. Cool. Was a good idea. Cool. That's Great. a good idea. <laughs> Thanks. And right. it's, it's easy to prototype. Just find um, after our five, rich, five people that look like they have a lot of money and you can prototype it probably even tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and see if it works. So, next group. Um, what do you have in common? Uh, we all did online courses. Yeah. Wow, the, um, and you actually the finished ambitious them. people who've completed online courses. You don't have to tell us if you passed, but you finished them. Yeah, okay. Okay, <laughs> you smart asses. What, what did you figure out? 
Okay, um, our ideas are a bit similar with the first group and we, we talked about that to create this mutual ownership and so on um, and all these people, I mean the entrepreneurs and you know the people with the money, they all want to change the world together so they should go out of this fucking conference yeah? and go on uh, journeys together basically on, uh, in, in pairs and develop these ideas develop these ideas together, how they want to change it yeah? and how what they can give in there and uh, and go to places in Kuala Lumpur which are you know kind of related to the topic yeah maybe you know, to some social center or to some forest which is or whatever yeah? um, in the field they want to work with also to get you know some ideas and, and impressions you know from Kuala Lumpur uh, itself yeah? so they they can be in a really activating environment where they can do something um, and also to do this, we also thought about before kind of some clustering in a way to find out in which areas, you know, the people are interested in to change the world. So this can be done in the conference, but I mean, as fast as possible, get the people out there because such a conference is not really activating and uh, inspiring. Okay. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Jonathan is taking notes. I am taking notes. I am taking notes. Are you a group? A small group. What do you have in common, you two? We are the 5% who don't have a smartphone. And don't get interrupted every five minutes, eh? Okay, <laughs> so you must, have, you must have spent amazingly productive 60 minutes out there. What did you come up with? Um, we're going to stand up together. So, um, the first and as so often is it always depends. Um, that doesn't count. <laughs> no, no, but we go on, we go on what it depends on. We're going to find the factors. Um, so the first thing it is always, it depends on the problem, right? So like if it is a medical problem, there would be different contexts than if it is a social problem. Um, how to approach people, who to approach, and these sort of things. That was the first person, that was what, what the first person said. The second thing is it also depends on the person, right? So um, we should, like having an environment that is like, doesn't suit the person is not really nice. But if you ask them like, what do you actually like? Do you like paragliding? Do you like golfing? Do you, I don't know, some people there, I read a person about an investor who always goes biking with people who pitch because then he can do something he likes and they can still pitch it. And um, yeah, so that's the second thing. The third thing is um, then we found another friend of mine and asked her, so what would you do? And she was like, well, give them something they normally don't have because actually they do have everything. And then I remembered the story. I was in Dubai once and I met this guy at McDonald's and I started talking to him and I was like, well, I'm just here, I'm couch surfing, these sort of things. And he was like, I would love to do this thing, but I never, I never find the time or the engagement. I always end up at these like five-star hotels that are really boring. They're everywhere the same, um, but I never break out of the circle. I would really love to do this. And then he asked me for tips, and like I made him account and everything. Um, so there's always something even um, investors and billionaires want to have, but they never really have the resources to do this. Um, so this would be a nice thing to actually give them something they don't have, and then you can pitch it at the same time. Then you have a good experience and makes it more likely to do. Then we want to add something more. Yeah, and the last thing is that uh, we don't want the billionaires to uh, think that they are, we only need them for their money. We want them to be part of the solution. We want them to be engaged in the projects and uh, to find the solution for the project, to be engaged with the entrepreneur, to maybe even help the entrepreneur get business opportunities and sell the product. That's great. Great. Thanks Wonderful a lot. Stuff. Wonderful. Do we have a group over here? Or is this all the, is it, was this all one group? No, no, it's right here. All right. So what was your, what was your common theme here? Um, not having a cell phone for yeah, a couple days. Stepping out of technology. Stepping uh, out the, of technology. the digital detox. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a it depends. <laughs> well, um, okay. Just, uh, I guess I... Yeah, we met up and then we, we decided we would go off on our own to try to get more ideas. And then I, I was still out talking to people and so I missed the like debrief we had as a group. So, and I, I interpreted it very differently, but, um, uh, like I, I, but I don't want to, maybe the group can speak first and then I would say mine. Or, uh, you are the group. <laughs> um, okay, um, basically, um, we decided that the best way to approach the future with these entrepreneurs was to pick their brains on how to revamp educational systems in a non-hierarchical hierarchical way. Um, so um, re-emphasizing arts in schools and looking for their investment in this way, but figuring out a way to capitalize on that so they could find return on investment through a, ha a flat educational system. 
and allowing them to get back down to earth with us, bring them back into their childhood and have them deliver lectures to young children, have them deliver lectures to young high schoolers who are at risk so they can get a better perspective of the world that they helped create and the world that is coming up today. Um, so we thought that was very important. That's great. And I could actually picture that's feasible in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, exactly. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Um, have we... Are you covered already? That was, that was uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Where, who are we missing? Down, over here, right? And over here? Okay. Well, okay, we have to be louder. <laughs> What did you have in common? Uh, we uh, danced to ABBA and are part of a church. Can you, can you give us a sneak preview of how you danced to ABBA? No, we do that later. First share, <laughs> first share with us what you've sucked from outside and are now sharing with us. So, I mean, we thought it was quite important um, to work on breaking down the asymmetry you have between those different types of groups. Yeah, I mean, informational asymmetry, but also in terms of social stratification, as some of the other groups have already mentioned. And uh, here, on the one hand, we thought it would be important to allow people to pre prepare adequately. I mean, in that context, we thought about uh, sharing backgrounds, uh, or sometimes, if possible, I mean, it's going to be difficult with the billionaires, also contacts, uh, or the challenges that people are facing uh, with the group, uh, organizing the event along, along, the li along the lines of themes, yeah, or maybe You could do that via sessions, for example, yeah? Uh, but also at the same time sort of uh, keep it flexible. I mean, mix formal and informal. For example, we had the idea of having an open space where people could get together and sort of have uh, the chance en encounters that, that don't ruin the potential of serendipity that you have when you get these mm. kind of uh, um, groups. So ra randomize the meeting process. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, then... Uh, at the other hand, I mean, regarding social stratification, we thought we definitely should go move beyond this pitch thing here, yeah, and also think in terms of partnerships, yeah. Uh, uh, start with the idea maybe that investors have to offer much more than simply money, I mean, but also experience that the questions they are asking can actually help, I mean, social entrepreneurs to further develop their ideas, yeah. And then you have a completely different situation, you yeah? know. So, This is a lot of ideas. Yeah. I'm <laughs> well, then finally we have follow-up, yeah? I mean, we should think about how you are going to organize follow-up, yeah? So that it is, yeah, okay. to keep the momentum. Okay, great. I think we have two groups left, yeah? Right here. Uh, what's the sh public secret of you people here? <laughs> we still believe in changing the world as possible. I love it already. Love okay, it. so what are the billionaires going to do with the Republicans? Um, the billionaires with the Republicans, um, the challenge um, we are facing in that is uh, that we don't know what is the idea, what is the motivation of each group uh, coming to the Global Economic Symposium. So what we have to figure out, and this is the challenge, is um, the individual um, uh, contact uh, to what. So um, we have to moderate it in a way um, to um, get different uh, aisles of... Uh, of um, topics um, that fit together, um, once by the givers, the billionaires, and, uh, and the other group uh, by the uh, takers, <laughs> I say so. Um, and in the second step, um, these groups join together, and um, we have two problems. Um, the problem is all the people there know what they want to do, but they don't know exactly how so uh, they have on the one step um, the uh, they must have the opportunity to, to choose um, the topic and on the other hand they have to figure out by themselves what they say, what they want so in this groups in this uh, um, topic groups they have the chance to um, to get an, an view on the ideas of the entrepreneurs there and the entrepreneurs have uh, the opportunity um, uh, to to look which billionaire um, is uh, from its uh, individuality um, joining to it. So instead of grouping around around status or position, they're grouping around interest, field of interest. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's And at the end, they have the, uh, the uh, possibility to get together. Wonderful. All right, who's left? In the middle? The leftovers. You are sort of, sp uh, do we still have the leftovers? They left. All right. Here we go. <laughs> uh, 
That's you? Okay, apparently nobody wants. Um, no, we're not the leftovers, we're the uh, Club Mate uh, non-believers or whatever, never tasters. Um, so we got different impressions from outside, from a couple of people. Um, the, the biggest thing that we learned is that it must be interesting. It must be interesting, like when you started with your, with your discussion, that's not interesting. So neither to the entrepreneur, but he will stay because he needs money. But the other one will not because he says, I have money. <laughs> I, need an, I need an interesting idea. So uh, one guy said, and I think that's very true. He said, um, first of all, you, should, you may, might, might think of a pre-selection of the entrepreneurs. So you don't want, don't want to have the copycats over there. So the guys that said, oh, I've seen LinkedIn works pretty well in America. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do the same thing in Germany. That's probably not what you want to have there. So you, you want to have a look at the ideas before you invite the 50 entrepreneurs. Um, the, the, the second thing that we learned is it's, it's all about people. So it must be about uh, getting be people together. And I think we didn't develop an idea how to do this because we, I would say it's, it's actually not really necessary to think about that. As long as you get the people together and you have interesting people over there, it, it'll work, whether it's speed dating or grouping them or whatever. Um, and the third thing, and I think that's uh, essential, and um, not only for that, but I've been to a lot of conferences and the best things you do in coffee breaks, and even better afterwards when there's lots of alcohol involved. Maybe not that much, but I think billionaires are just people, so they, they like and they drink something and they like to socialize in an informal way when it's not about kind of like business. So you want to make room for, for breaks, for when people can, can just get out, get a coffee, get, get a piece of cake or whatever, and, and then they, they start socializing. And that, that's, that's important, I think, and then people will automatically group together. That's, that's I get it. Less mate, more beer. That's it, perfect. Um, this is this is wonderful. I, I mean, I, I really can't thank you all enough for being here today. Um, but as I mentioned before, it's not over. Um, I mean, technically it's over in 30 seconds, but talk to me afterward, please, if you want to be involved at this year's GES. Um, it's a really long road to get there, and it's also an incredibly short amount of time before September 6th rolls around. Um, we have a lot of brainstorming to do, and we have a lot of um, a lot of you know creation of, of how these processes are going to work. So um, thank you so much for coming, um, and please come say hi afterward if you're interested in making you know real global change. Thanks. And a, and a th and a thank you from me also because we wanted to do something else with you, and then we walked in the room and said and saw like okay, it's not going to work. All the people have headphones on, so we and basically structured that session ten minutes ahead. And thanks for bearing with us. And I know like how this. Oh, we got to do some, some interactive stuff. Feels like, especially in the afternoon, thanks a lot that you were a part of it. And make use of that opportunity because the billionaires are going to go show up and we don't want them to be alone. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest of Republica. Yeah.